blog in Hugo is relatively straightforward. It consists of a page that lists all the blog posts and a series of content pages with a date for the posts. That's all there is to it. With this part of the series, you're really going to start to see how the layout hierarchies work in Hugo. And content will create a new directory called posts. And inside that, we'll create a file called underscore index.md. And this is going to be a very basic file that just has front matter to set the title. So it's a underscore index.md. Do you remember what that means? It's a table of contents file. And in this case, it'll be listing your posts. At the moment, it's going to try and use this default list layout. This content file doesn't have any markdown though, so there's not much to render here. Instead, we want to create another layout that's specific for this post index page. The way the Hugo layout hierarchy works is it will first look for a layout that matches the current section. And you can think of a section as the directory. So here we've got posts. In other words, if we create a new directory here called posts and inside we'll create list.html and so the post index page will look for a layout in this directory first and it finds list so we'll use this one so here we'll have a basic structure to so here we'll have a basic structure to one define main inside an h1 heading that's called my posts then we have a list which is going to hold all the posts on the site the stop pages is an array of all the pages in this section currently there's none but we're going to add some soon so it's going to iterate over all of the pages in this section and output the permalink which is essentially the the url for that page uh, it's going to output that page's title and then it's going to output the date, which we're calling format on and passing some random date in 2006. Why this date? It's a quirk of go for formatting dates. You can read more about it online. That's all we need for the list page. Let's move on to the posts. We've already done the hard part. Let's get this blog finished by creating a few posts. The posts live in this directory that we created before. And they don't require any special naming convention. But one tip I like to encourage is adding the date of the post to the file name. Hugo will completely ignore it, but it helps when you have to find a post among hundreds of others. So we'll create a post here. So I'll start with a date. This is going to be a markdown file. And then it's very similar to our other pages. We have front matter that sets the title, a date, and then we have some markdown content. So let's create our other two posts. Just like the blog list page, these blog posts are going to try and use this default single layout. Let's create a layout specifically for posts. So we'll come into posts, create single.html, and inside just have some basic structure. So we've got an H1, which is going to output the page title. We're going to output the date and format it, and then we're going to output the content. Finally, we'll add a link to the blog in our nav. So we can link to slash posts, and that's our blog. Navigating to our site, now we have blog in the navigation, and I've got my three blog posts. Clicking on one takes me to that blog post. In our final lesson, we'll use a Hugo data file to populate a map with your favorite vacation spots.